Twinbrew is extremely confident in staking its claim as setting the industry standard for digital fabrics. However, as you'll soon find, not all fabrics are created equal. One in particular required more collaboration and truly tested the technical knowledge of the Twinbrew team, who were determined to ensure it could be captured accurately and rendered to perfection. This endeavour became known as the Velvet Shader Project. The aim of uh, this project was to increase the natural look and feel of uh, digital velvet fabrics. I think everybody who has ever brushed a velvet with their hands knows that changing the direction of the, uh, the hairs changes the look of the fabric. And not only that, if you look at a velvet at one angle and then from a different angle, uh, that changes the appearance as well. And Capturing this randomness and the variability in color and sheen is crucial to convey the look of the material in a 3D environment, which is what we actually look to, to achieve with this Velvet Shader project. Velvet is purported to have originated in the Far East, and more specifically, China. The earliest accounts of the textile date back to as early as the 14th century. It is a woven fabric in construction, tufted with the cut ends evenly distributed to create the soft pile and reflective quality that is so beloved in every corner of the world. There are many different kinds of velvet that vary in thickness, weight, texture and appearance. Because the fabric is woven with two different thicknesses of yarn, the pile is vertical and the fibres are dense. This is why it is particularly good at absorbing light depending on the direction of the fiber pile. And this is why black velvet is considered a great choice as a backdrop for photography. The challenge comes when trying to create a high resolution scan of velvet where light is both absorbed and reflected in different sections of the fabric. Velvet is highly complex and it plays and bends light in many fascinating ways. Its most remarkable feature, understandably, has been the most challenging to reproduce digitally. If you've ever swept your hand across velvet and then back again, you know the fabric looks rather different in each direction. Capturing this variability is tough. The aim of the Velvet Shader project was to improve the realism of the rendering of our velvet fabrics. So the problem that it solves is that when you scan velvet textiles, the multi-directional alignment of the, the pile of the fabric creates a sort of random effect of reflectivity of light. The problem is trying to simulate the randomness of the velvet fabric in a render. So when you, when you scan a velvet fabric and then try to tile it, the randomness effect is sort of lost. So the illusion of realism is lost. So what we tried to do was create a model, a, a velvet shader model or a shader model, which more accurately samples the light reflectivity of a velvet fabric and then models it in a, in a rendering environment. To capture the true characteristics of velvet, the team at Twinbury began by questioning how to model the way light is reflected across and off a piece of velvet fabric. The solution would be a shader a program that is effectively a mathematical model to calculate the appropriate levels of light, darkness and colour produced in a 3D render. Twinbrew's velvet shader requires settings that focus on the colour variation and reflection in velvet. This couldn't be achieved without expertise from a team that understands scanning and rendering as well as Twinbrew knows fabrics. So we collaborated with our technology partner, Xrite. We collaborated on this project with x right because of their unique expertise and knowledge in the field of capturing digital materials. And having designed both the scanner hardware and software, they are in the position of being able to control every aspect of the process, down to the finest minute details. And combined with Trimbrew's knowledge of fabrics, we figured we could considerably improve the results of scanned velvets. The influence on the actual scanning equipment will probably be minor, as the capability to capture the velvets in this improved manner was already present. In essence, the velvet shader that has resulted from this collaboration has unlocked the potential to capture these materials uh, in an even more true-to-life way. The process was quite straightforward. Combine the fabric and software knowledge of both teams, scan and render velvet repeatedly, and then analyze the data. With that analysis and data, we could adjust the shader program accordingly until the final iteration delivered a truly spectacular digital twin of velvet. 
We should add, the shader program had to be flexible enough for the settings to be altered for various colors, sheen, and pile thickness, so this level of customization would help immensely for future projects. Previously, Twinbrew had solutions in the rendering process to enhance the look of Velvet. One such example is the creation of what we call Moist or Randomness Masks, which we would digitally overlay on top of a scanned base material to achieve an even more realistic look. However, creating these noise masks took a considerable amount of time and manual effort, which we wanted to avoid. And uh, using this velvet shader allows us to do that. This course of action to develop a shader program specifically for Velvet means that the usual post-production enhancements were no longer necessary as the fabric is accurately captured and rendered immediately. Naturally, this saves on scanning and processing time, and the final visuals are of the highest quality, giving the most true-to-life look. A 3D designer's goal is to craft visualizations that either leave people convinced the image is real when it might not even exist, or to bring a vision to life to perceive it in the correct environment and assess its real-world viability. We believe this work can be made much more effortless and unlock further creativity while still retaining the highest quality. It's not really something that's done in our industry, but it is done in like the fashion industry where you can sort of test ideas. You know, you could test a design and see how popular it is through social media or whatever it might be, and then use that feedback to tailor your purchasing, perhaps. It's a little bit more difficult in, in the textile industry just sort of due to the the, the, the length of time it takes to actually get a product from conception to in the market in people's hands or on a piece of furniture, it's, it's actually quite a long time. The other one which I think is quite cool is it's like the rapid development of ideas. So it means the product development department themselves can use the scanning process and the digitization process to facilitate their creative process. Being able to offer renders of velvets that appear on screen with the same light reflection and color variability as the physical fabric means 3D designers can play with the design and present projects that are a visual feast. For marketing and sales, a digital sample of a velvet can give a customer a true representation of that fabric without having to create a costly physical sample. It also means customers can view the velvet online or on their smart devices, saving time, money and supporting confident purchase decisions. It's widely documented that animation studios have sent their artists to study animals, sea life, cities, or details such as embroidery or cultural symbols to achieve accurate portrayals for film or television. And while this type of granular attention to detail is known for entertainment media, Twin Brew's dedication to Velvet is quite unique in the digital visualization and textile sectors. Providing customers with an authentic and faithful digital replica of a fabric that is timeless and rich in history is proof of the commitment of our team to honoring the textile and truly bringing it into the digital age. If you'd like to view our benchmark renders, visit our Pinterest boards or explore the renders page for inspiration.